Uh, my name's Brad Payne. Uh, we have 265 hectares in Cambridge, Waikato, New Zealand. Uh, we're currently milking 650 cows in a system four. Um, they're getting three kilos of maize on the feed bed and three kilos in shed of meal per cow daily. We have a 60 bale external GEA rotary. We used to milk 500 cows through a 40 side herringbone with three people milking in the peak of mating. Uh, we moved to the 60 bale rotary with all the bells and whistles and only need one person milking because all the technology does the work for us. The challenges we faced was for heat detection I had to be there all the time. Um, touching up tail paint, making sure you have the right cows were chosen to be inseminated. Um, the Cow Scout system has allowed me to not be there all the time. I can just turn up, cows have been already automatically drafted and they can be inseminated. Uh, the key features of the Cow Scout system was we get the cows on heat at a particular time so I can inseminate them either morning or night. Um, other added bonuses were we had we were able to get information on mastitis cows. It would show um, less activity and less eating, so you'd be able to check them for mastitis and also metabolic problems. But you can never argue with numbers. So the more data you have, the more reliability you'll get. So data is also a good thing. Yeah. Uh, our future goals are to have 900 cows on the 265 hectares um, with a nine week calving spread um, and gain for 4% empties. Uh, at the moment we just have one staff milking all of the cows. Um, if we didn't have the cow scout collars we would definitely need two for the extra heat, de heat detection. Uh, this is definitely a future proof solution. Um, less people in the shed don't have to worry about the human error factor in drafting out cows. Uh, we've been using gear products for the last 20 years and have had great service and great reliability with the product. Thank you.